Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. Today we are going to be showing you how to make this basket of DIY materials turn into this awesome display piece of this awesome single shadow display piece. So if you want to see how I took those pieces into this little display piece, then just keep watching. Welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas and today's piece I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, make this custom-ish stylized um, DIY display piece. So this is kind of just a hanging stainless steel and then these are actually going to contain the magnets. So before when I showed you guys um, the DIY project I showed you guys how to take your stainless steel pans and how they can stick on a magnetic piece and today these are magnetic pieces sticking on the backside of a stainless steel piece so let's get started we'll be using one of these um, galvanized frames and it can be purchased at Walmart in the craft section I'll also be using some of these magnetic buttons to place on the backside of my single shadows now um, one thing to note is that these single sh sorry the my chair is super creaky one thing to note is that these single shadows right here have um, aluminum backing which is not magnetic so that's why I chose a stainless steel I'm going to add magnets to them and then I'm going to make it so that they can all stick in here and it's going to look just like this except for they will have magnets on the back of them so I've got the magnets right here this is 52 and I think I have 55 altogether so I did grab an extra um, package of these I think they're like two to three dollars at Walmart so again fairly inexpensive. For time purposes, I'm actually going to use one of these silver Sharpies and write just straight on the magnets. I ordered these wholesale. <laughs> this is, um, this was an investigative purchase, but I ordered these wholesale off of a website just to see what kind of shadows they were. And they are just labeled with D for duochrome and then a number. So all I'm going to do is label this magnet right here with D whatever. I'm not going to bother putting on a sticker on the magnets because I can just tell you right now that the magnets are smaller than the stickers. So let me show you. Oh, do these have little stickies to them? That would be super nice if they did. Okay, so just double checking. They are magnetic on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side you write on. They'll be fine either way. These Avery multi-use labels are three quarters of an inch. They're just slightly larger than the actual magnet. So if I was to put them on there, there would be like a slight lip on it and then it can lift up and it just, it won't work very well. So I'm just going to write with a, uh, a silver, you could use the silver, the bronze, whatever you want to do. But um, I'm going to go through and go ahead and label those now and get them all done. So on the back side, it has like, can't even read it. Uh, let's try another one here. This little unicorn baby is D67 from my wholesaler. And I'm just going to label D67, just like that. Let it dry and then I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get those all labeled right now for you. And I'll speed this process up.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands, but I've got all of these laid out. Some of them you can't really see too well, but they are here, and I'm going to wash my hands. I'll come right back, and I'll start labeling all of these. Let's go ahead and get them labeled now that my hands are nice and clean. Okay, this is a great example of I misread that. It's D57, not 37. So just take this and spritz some alcohol onto the back of it and then just wipe it off. We'll let it dry and I'll come back and relabel it here in just a moment. Okay, they're all labeled. For this, because they're not gonna be moved often on the galvanized steel too often, I'm just gonna go ahead and place a drop of Elmer's rubber cement onto the back of the shadow and let it, I'm gonna do about a row at a time and then once I get the row done, I'll just go ahead and add the magnet on top of the rubber cement. So just dab a nice healthy glob to each one and then just kind of let it sit for you know 20 to 30 seconds but not too terribly long because if you do that then it'll be too dry and it won't stick as well hopefully this will work out okay I'm not really sure that looks like 65 why did I put 67 I don't know what I'm doing in life anymore Is there already a 67? I feel like there is. <clears throat> Pretty sure if I uh, went in and got tested, I would have ADHD. Okay, so that has to stay. Like, this is extremely hard for me to do. One. I'm being pretty generous with the glob because I want it to sort of dry and then press into the magnet and form like another kind of rubberized bond, right? Let's go ahead and add it to our galvanized steel. Oh, these are pretty strong magnets, but it does seem to come off. Okay, so there you have it, and I'm going to go ahead and finish these up off camera um, because these down here you really can't see, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the final product, and we'll get them all added to the board, so stick around after these brief messages. Okay, so I'm back. I got everything labeled to the best of my ability. Um, I really can't be 100% sure some of these are labeled correctly, like... For example, this one got uh, rubbed off already, and I don't know what number it is, and I can't trace it. This says D74, but it can't be because the numbers only go up to 65, so I really don't know what some of these are. Um, yeah, so we're just we're just gonna go. Ahead. This doesn't even look like D25 in the picture, so. That's kind of why I've never made a video on this because I really don't know, I really don't know how I would do it. So, I mean, like, I, I can't even label them correctly because I don't, I couldn't read some of the writing. So let's go ahead and start getting some of this put on there. I'll do it as much in order as I possibly can, but this is mainly for display at this point. DIY stuff isn't really my forte, but I do, I wanted it off of my floor and they were just laying in a pan. I didn't know what else to do with them, so that's what I did. 
Uh, the labels on them don't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, they're not going to be, like, in this pretty thing. They kind of work if I get enough glue on them. I can lift them back off, but some of them just rip right off of the thing. So I guess as I take them off and use them in palettes or DIY projects or something like that, if they come off, I'll just put some E6000 on the back of them. But some of these are just like extraordinarily beautiful shades. But unfortunately, I cannot tell you exactly what they are. This one is gorgeous too. She gave me doubles and I didn't even know it. That is so gorgeous there, that shade. Okay, I'm just finishing this up right here and I'll show you guys the completed product. Okay, I finally got it all pieced back together and placed into my little stainless steel. So this is the reverse magnetic palette, if you wanna call it that. This is where you basically place the magnet on the shadow and the stainless steel is what you uh, use to attach it. So it's more of like the refrigerator method, I guess is what we might, let's just simplify it. Let's just call it the refrigerator method, okay? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, whether you got any value out of this content, I don't know, but if you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up for me um, down below. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you guys in tomorrow's episode of the 25 days of Christmas. Thanks so much for hanging in there, guys. Bye.